Hi, I'm Tom from Tom's Deck Reviews, and this is a quick guide on how to connect your Genio projector to your Wi Fi. As soon as you switch on your Genio projector, you're presented with this setup screen. So, the first thing we need to do is choose setup. I'm using the remote control to navigate the screen, but you can also use the control buttons on the top of your Genio projector. Now, let's click on setup using the OK button on the remote. And we are presented with a setup network screen where we can set up our home Wi-Fi connection. Using the down arrow on our remote, let's select Wi-Fi. Now let's click on it. And it should bring up the scan option. Let's click on scan and we should get a pop-up message saying Wi-Fi app searching. After a short while, it should bring up our Wi-Fi connection. Mine is second in the list. So let's click on that. And now we need to enter our password. And if you don't have your password to hand, it should be displayed at the back of your internet router. After entering our password, let's click on confirm. And we should get the pop up message Wi Fi connecting. And after a few seconds, success. Now let's click on confirm. And then I got the pop up message Wi Fi app searching again. And I thought, are we just going around in a loop? But no need to worry, as after a few seconds, this pop-up message disappears. And you should now get a green tick next to your Wi-Fi ID, confirming that your Wi-Fi network is connected. And all we need to do now is click on Return on the remote to get us back to the original setup screen. And in this screen, if we click on Source, you might get the display message, No Signal, like me, which just means you haven't connected any media to your projector yet, which is very easy to do. For example, you can stream media to it via its HDMI ports by connecting a streaming stick such as a Fire TV or Rocco streaming stick, or you could wirelessly stream media from your iPhone or Android smartphone device. And to do that, you just need to click on Miracast or iOS Cast on the setup screen and follow the instructions. And that's all there is to it. If you like this video, please thumbs it up and subscribe for more tech guides and reviews to come. Thanks for watching.